but as you can see I'm a hot mess right now Ooh, I actually said hot mess because I was watching Masaba Masaba I normally use the word total mess useless information hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I think you guys are going to love it for today's video, we are going to use our skincare items to our benefit. I actually do this quite a lot and you guys will be surprised how much makeup really I wear in my day-to-day -day life. And especially during this time, I think it's um, very smart to dress up like that because we are not going anywhere. And even if you have a meeting or you're going out for a bit to chill with your friends, which I know a lot of people are doing, I don't know how good is that. But anyway, not judging. So anyway, we'll just start. We'll use a very little quantity of makeup, but nothing like base makeup, concealer, foundation. No, we are not doing that today. So before jumping in, let me tell you that you need to subscribe. <laughs> so if you're new here, hi, I'm Meg. I'm a professional makeup artist. And I would love that if you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and also follow me on my Instagram. I'll just leave all my work there. I'm kind of proud of it actually. Anyway, so yeah, let's just jump into the video. By the way, I have nothing on my face. I just washed my face. I don't even have a lip balm. You can see my gray lips. So you can see my eye color is a little bit different. So I have worn a lens, which is a great tip. If you're someone who can wear lenses, then you totally should go for it. Even if you wear number of glasses. So what you can do is you wear like zero power contact lenses and then wear glasses if you like wearing it. That will jazz up the look instantly or just like me normally you can use them. So next thing is your hair. Like you can see this is my day 2 hair. Very frizzy and nothing good about it. So I'll just show you how I do it. So for our hair we are going to do a half updo. Something like this. It makes you look really young and nice. <laughs> Gives your like oily hair a little bit of bounce. We'll leave the hair like this for now. I have already washed my face and I have scrubbed it last night. So for washing my face, I use the Plum Green Tea Face Wash. To scrub it, I use the same one from the same range. I'll link everything down below, so don't worry. And for now, I'm going to shave my face. So I don't shave and scrub my face on the same day. I don't want to get sensitive, but I love shaving my face. It gets rid of any sort of like hair on my face and it gives an instant glow. So we'll start with that. So I'm gonna uh, take these tweezers. I got them from Nike. You can get them from Amazon. My last ones are from Amazon. This time it was not available, so I had to get it from Nike. So my eyebrows and upper lips are already done. So I'm just going to shave my uh, sideburns. So I'm going to hold it like this and then just start shaving. Can you see this? I hope you guys can see the hair coming out. I think it's a myth that you get like a lot of hair growth on your face after you do it because I have been doing this for years and nothing really happened. This side I'm not going to do a lot of it because I have some active acne there so yeah I'll just take it very lightly from this. So we are done with that and if you want to shave your eyebrows and upper lips totally do this. So now I'll just go and wash my face. So it's really important to get your lips all juicy and plump. So I'll just mix in a really nice scrub. So I'm taking this small bowl, putting a little bit of sugar. These are very like small granule sugars. Then I'll put in some honey in it. So that's our natural lip scrub ready. So I'll let this thing soak for some time. You can add lemon too in it if you want. Uh, too much sugar. Yeah was awful yeah you can um so i'll let it sit for five minutes so now you see after like five minutes or so it's a nice concoction so i'm just going to put it on my lips so you can just take a tissue like i did and then get rid of it your lips will feel instantly really nice and plump so now first we'll uh use some lip balm we don't want our lips to get dried up so I'm going to use my Laneige one. You can use any lip balm that you like. I really like this because it's a lip mask and I have deadly dry lips. So our lips are prepped. Now let's come back to our skin. For the skin, I'm going to start off with a toner. And this toner gives a really nice glow to the skin. 
So I'm just going to take it like this and I'm just going to press it in my skin. Uh, just because I'm wearing a deep neck t-shirt, I'm going to take it down my neck also. I normally would use like three layers of the toners when I am going out. Otherwise, um, seven layers, I kind of like doing it because oh, the result is so good. Especially with this toner, this is the Face Shop Chia Seed Toner. This is my skin and this is how it looks after two layers. So for this video, I'm going to use my absolute favorite products and you can replace the same with your absolute favorite products or you can just easily buy them. I'll leave every link down in the description box below. So the next step will be a serum. So I love this Innisfree Orchid, um, Jeju Orchid Essence. This is how it looks like. It came in a limited edition box, so it has this Mickey Mouse thing in it. This range, guys, oh my god, like this is, I feel it's a revolutionary product and range. I love this. So I'm taking one pump only of this and I don't really pile on stuff, like I don't use a lot of quantity. If you have like dry, flaky skin, this will work so good. The uh, next step will be using an eye cream. It's so important to use an eye cream because or else you're not using concealer or anything but your eye under eyes need to look really hydrated. So these are my two favorites. This is again from the Orchid range but this I prefer using at night and when I'm like sporting this look i'll prefer this one this is the plum this is eight specialist bright eye under eye uh, gel and i love it because of its consistency it is so gel like it's a gel basically not gel like so i'll take one pump of it uh, we'll use our ring finger and then just go under your eyes give it a nice massage so for, we are going to use a moisturizer and I'm just going to take this one. I love this. This is Dot & Key Illuminating Glow In Serum Moisturizer. And I um, think you guys are going to love this one because this one gives such a good glow. And it's also really, really nice but not at all oily. And then what we need to do now, now this part is really interesting. And for my oily skin girls, you guys will love it. So there are some parts we need shinier than the other to highlight them. So now I'll show you guys how I tone down this shininess from a few parts of my skin. So before this uh, step, normally I would use an SPF because I would be heading out. But right now, just because I'm home and I'm filming, so I'm not using an SPF. But make sure you use an SPF if you're heading out. So I'm going to use a matte primer for this look so i'm using this sugar cosmetics primer stick i love this one so the first place that i'm going to blur is my upper lip so then the area here so yeah i'm just going to do the center of my forehead because i don't like my center of my forehead to be like too too shiny that's it you see the shine is only in the right places and not like anywhere you don't want it to so now we are going to move on to a little bit of um, makeup a very slightest bit of makeup for that what we will do is we will use a bronzer but a liquid bronzer so what a bronzer does is your skin is going to look really healthy after you have used this one i'll just show you how quantity will be very less but it, is, it will look cohesive. So that is all we are trying to do, right? So I'm just going to apply it like this. Like you can barely, barely see the product. So I'm just going to apply it on my forehead first. And I'm going to start blending it. Apply it here. So now, do you see that this side of my face looks so much better structure-wise than this side? So that is the difference of using a tiniest bit of any bronzer that you want to. So see, the face looks a little bit more chiseled than it normally is. And of course, we are going to add blush, but again, a cream blush. You can use any sort of lipstick that you like. So I have two shades. I have MAC Fast Play, which is this uh, really nudie pink shade. And then I have this Revlon Matte Seductive Sienna shade, which is again a similar one, but a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to mix these two. Then I'm going to take my stippling brush. This is the Pro, Pro Art PP16. And I'm going to take a little bit of both. Then apply it on my 
this. So you see, that's the natural flush. So for all my oily skin girls, this is your best friend. So this is the K-Beauty setting powder and honestly this has no coverage and I love this one for that because when I, when I don't want any coverage, a lot of even loose powders give me so much coverage that I hate it. So for this one, it's great. Now I'll show you how to set your face with this. I just took a little bit of powder in this and I'm just going to press it over the areas that I have bronzed and use the cream blush. So just like that, just to set it. So that's that and if you have oily skin then you can go with a, a little bit of like heavy hand also. So now let's move on to our eyebrows. Now eyebrows are really really important especially if you have like really full thick eyebrows and you don't need to really do anything to them that's fine but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who have eyebrows like me and so we need to do this because this is what frames our skin, uh, face. I was about to say skin. So for that, I'm going to show you a little trick first. So I'm going to take the loose powder and I'm going to take any like brush, eyeshadow brush. Push the powder on my eyebrows because using a lot of like uh, oily or like moisturizing things can ruin your eyebrows honestly, because especially when you're like trying to fill them. So you need to mattify it first. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to get into it and just take the moisture away. Now it's time to uh, use a spoolie and comb it up and fill it in a little bit. My eyebrows and my eyelashes are I think my only uh, staple point that I have to have to do. So now uh, I'm going to use the hairspray trick that I do for my eye. Oh my god, I just sprayed some on my teeth. So I really like my eyebrows like this. Now we'll do our lashes. For that, I'm going to literally curl my, curl my uh, eyelashes for straight up three minutes. See, just curling the lashes gives changes your face, honestly. So now for our lips. First, I'm going to take this lip mask on because it stays for a really long time and it's very thick. So I'm going to give you two options. First is a tinted lip balm and the second is a real tint. I'll show you how this one looks. This is my favorite one. This is the Bright Out Loud or something like that from Maybelline Vivid Peach. I have them in every shade like literally so this is how a tinted lip balm would look so i really like this i often wear this out and this also leaves a very nice tint on your lips even if the lip balm is out but now i'm going to show you the second uh, option a real tint so this is from the face shop if i'm not wrong this is in the shade pink mate 02 I'm going to just like dot a little bit of this and then spread it. This one really settles down wherever you are dotting it. So it, you have to be really careful about that and not like pick up a lot of product basically. But I prefer going for tints because they are like really long lasting. So I really like going for them. So you see like my face has like literally lit up after I use this. So I really love the shade. Now a very fun step. I have never done this but today I'm trying it. So we all have like little bit marks and freckle like things on our face. So I'm going to enhance those. And for that today I'm going to use this pencil only for my that I use for my eyebrows. So let's bring you guys closer. So you see I have this little uh, mark in here. So I'm going to enhance that. Where else? Where else? Oh, some I have in here. So basically any and every mark that I can find. So this will make you look more natural and you can even find your favorite spot and like create a fake one even if there's none. So that is it for the makeup. I think you guys will love it. Like now it, let's come to jewelry which is so important and I get often so many questions about where my jewelries are from so I'm going to show that to you. So mainly they are from H&M. So I'm going to use these uh, earrings. They're like pretty tiny multicolor hoops. Accessories really really change everything. Then I'm going to use some chains and necklaces again from H&M. I really need to get new ones like this is how they look. So yeah this is how it will look and I really feel myself in this look. So, 
so yeah that was it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this look so this is mainly to like appreciate my skin and let it breathe i don't really like to pile on a lot of makeup even i don't care even if i have acne or anything but if you guys want to like i do dark circles or a little bit of scarring you can definitely do that with spot concealing and a little bit of color corrector so we have all the options that we want to use and there's no rule to makeup and there's no rule to how you think you should look so it's all in your mind and it's your body your face you do whatever you want with it so yeah that was it for today i hope you guys like this look if you did do let me know and till then 